Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about Cisco XDR automation, its main components and capabilities. Cisco XDR feature allows customer to automate how to investigate and respond to threats in their organization. They also can automate the repetitive task and some non-security related tasks as well. So this is the XDR dashboard. Let's quickly move to automate and exchange. Exchange is like a marketplace where customer can browse the workflow that are published by Cisco. So whatever you see here are the workflows with the option like uninstall and install. Uninstall are the workflows that are already installed by the Cisco XDR Automate and the install option is for us to install it now, to use it now. So let's click on any one of the install option. So when we click on install option, we see the detailed description about that workflow. It also gives us the uh, necessary dependencies that is required for this workflow. And once all the dependencies are met, you can go ahead and install it. Next, let's move to the workflows. In workflows page, you will see the workflows that are used by your organization. You have Atomics, you have the recently used, you have your favorite. Workflows are nothing but the use cases that has multiple steps that covers a larger picture, right? It has end to end in it. Whereas Atomics is a small reusable block that can be used by the multiple workflows. Workflow can come from multiple various sources. Some are inbuilt already for you. Some are published in GitHub. Some comes from the XDR Automate Exchange that we just now discussed. And you can create your own anyway. You can import the workflow from GitHub or the JSON file or simply copy paste the JSON here. Now, you can create your own workflow by clicking on create workflow. Select the type of workflow that you want to create. You can select blank or there are multiple options here. To build a workflow, we first need to understand what are targets account keys, variables, triggers, and if necessary, tasks. So let's go ahead and understand them. Targets are the resource that you want your workflow to communicate to. For example, you may create the HTTP endpoint target for the API that you want to send request to, right? Or IMAP target, you want to create an IMAP target to check your email box right so if you want to create the target there are multiple types so click on new target and you see there are multiple types here it depends on how you want your workflow to be written right if you want to check your email box then you should select the imap endpoint as a target it depends on the use case when you integrate Cisco XDR with your product, the target is automatically created. So to build workflow, you can either create the custom target or use the target that is automatically created during the integration or you can have both of them. So let's understand the account keys. Account keys go hand in hand with target. They are the credentials used by the targets for the authentication. For example, for account keys is under the targets, you have created an IMAP target to check the emails in the mailbox. Now you need the account keys with the username and password for the authentication of a in the email box. Account keys has the several types just like the target types. So click on new account key and you will see the several different types of account keys here. You just need to select the account keys depending upon what target you want the workflow for. Important note here is you cannot find the account keys for the integrated products, which means that if the product, if your product is already integrated with Cisco XDR, you would not need the account keys to authenticate for it. 
Now let's understand what are variables. Variables allows you to store the various types of data. There are two types in them. One is global variable and second is the variable specific to workflow. The global variable is the one which we are seeing right now. So this remains unaltered, meaning it remains constant throughout the workflow. Also, it can be reused in the other workflows. For example, of the global variable is you want to store the API keys. So all you have to do is create the variable, select the secure string and store the API keys and use them in multiple different workflows. Whereas the specific variable workflow is defined within the workflow so they typically live and die within the workflow itself they cannot be shared between the different workflows now let's go ahead and understand about triggers triggers are configured when you define what kind of events can trigger a workflow to run so this is the automation rule page click on the add automation rule Automation rule comes in different types such as the approval task rule, email rule, incident rule, schedule rule or webhook. Webhooks are created for the external product to trigger to run the workflow. All you have to do is give the URL and the API keys for the webhook and then you create the automation rule and link this webhook to the workflow. So let's see what's calendars. You can create or configure the different types of calendars here. It has the collection of days combined with the schedule. When both of them combined, you can trigger the scheduled workflows here. So for example, for every Friday, you want to delete the uh, inactive endpoints. So you can create a calendar for it for every Friday with this specific time you can go ahead and delete the inactive endpoints in the secure endpoint that is your scheduled workflow so now let's understand what is tasks tasks can be generated by the workflow to request the approval for certain actions for example there is a workflow where we can remove the inactive endpoints just as discussed from the cisco secure endpoint before removing that from inventory, you may want to ask certain approval from the task assignee. So you can assign this one to the task assignee so that the when the approval or the denial is given, further the workflow will take the actions for. Now with all the necessary information about the XDR Automate, let's go back to the workflows. Now let's click on the existing workflow to understand how does the workflow looks like. So this is the workflow editor. It has three primary areas. One is the toolbox on the left and the canvas in the middle and the properties in the right side. Toolbox has multiple tab components that is activities, logics and workflows that helps us to build one workflow. Activities are mostly the atomics. It can also contain other functions that are built in the product. Logic tab has more advanced option to use the conditional loops, etc. Workflows, you can use another workflow inside the workflow just like a nested workflows. Canvas. Canvas is the drag and drop area where you can build your workflow. So you can drag from the toolbox and drop it over the green anchor here and then you can edit it. So when you click on the box here, you can edit the properties in the property editor. And when you click on the blank area, you can edit the workflow properties in the property editor. So this is where you add the configuration stuffs like your variables, your account keys, your targets, your automation rules and etc. So when everything is ready and executed, you will go to view runs page to see the executed workflows. So runs page shows the workflow performance over time and allows you to inspect the previous workflow instances. By clicking on the previous run instance, you will get to know how the workflow has been executed. So green means it is successful. And by clicking in detail about this, you will get to know what variables are used, what targets are used and etc. Right. So this is the overview on the XDR automation. This is how we automate your environment. 
So hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching the video.